All right, it's Steven Bita here at EVS 35 in Oslo, Norway. And I'm here with Stefan Rino, the head of plug and charge with Hubject. And we're gonna do a little walk and talk on the amazing plug and charge technology here. Um, all right, uh, tell us why it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, Stefan. Um, there are two big things. Um, the first thing is it's a convenience feature, right? So it's uh, an easy customer uh, feature where you plug in and the charging stuff. And the second thing is, which is most important for me as a technical guy, it's secure. With RFID cards, we don't have a secure authentication scheme which can be copied and it's not, not, not a safe way in charging. But with plug and charge, it's secure and it can be checked automatically by the charger. All right, well, that's a, that's a given. We got to have security. We don't want anybody getting compromised. And what about convenience? Convenience, yeah. So um, I can show you how it works. So at the end, the customer parks the car in front of the charging station and he just plugs. Unfortunately, now you usually have to plug on your own. And then the whole process of authentication and authorization is done automatically. It means now the charger will send some data to the car, the car will trust the charger, the car will send a contract to the, uh, to the charger, and the charger will directly authenticate, and now you see it's authenticated and the charging starts automatically. You as the customer, you already left for lunch or for eating something or to go grocery shopping. So that's the story of plug and charge, which is kind of boring and showing it, but it's really nice and neat because new things can develop. It's convenient, but uh, also now smart charging is, ena uh, is enabled in a secure way. The car will exchange more data on IC1511A, which is the baseline for this communication. Uh, it's not any more DIN charging, it's IC1511A, which is a high communication standard. Awesome. Okay, so ISO 1511-8, that's the technology. And then, uh, sorry, ISO 1511-8-20 is, is the, the, the ultimate uh, bi-directional version that's coming exactly. out. Exactly. It came out a couple of days, months ago, um, two, two months ago, and it will be developed in the near future. Um, why I'm saying is, like the ISO-2 came out in 2014. Now we have 2022. It took some time for all participants in the market to, 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 to edit, but as Plankin said, this is it's an end-to-end -end feature. It means everyone needs to do the stake, object, a chart from manufacturer, a car, and so on, that this nice feature is working. So now everyone needs to develop the dash 20 that this works as well. So okay. give us a little bit of time on the market that they adapt to the dash 20, and then we see also the bi-directional features and the um, addition to plug and charge in this norm. Okay, so how long do you think it's going to be before most of the major networks in North America are going to be ready to deploy and, and how, offer this Tesla-like supercharging experience through plug and charge technology, ISO 15118A, uh, you know, in North America. Is that going to be next year? Or? I think it's already, the Electric America network is already plug and charge anyway. This is where right. we are already, already working with, uh, with plug and charge uh, productively since, I think, two years already, or a little bit more. Yeah. Um, the other networks, I know they're also thinking of, um, and so, and all OEMs are are uh, implementing it now or implementing it already. That means the networks will adapt soon. So I hope that within this year and the, starting next year, the bigger networks will have 50 levators too and plug and charge any. All right, so just uh, basically you'll have a one-time kind of setup of your profile uh, and your car will have a certificate that communicates with the charging hardware and your charging activation is you know, basically painless. Exactly, that's the way to go. All right, thank you very much for your time, Stefan. Here we come.